In today's video, we're going to be talking about self-reliance, specifically financial self-reliance by stacking the silver, stacking the gold, being your own bank. That way, you don't have to rely on anyone but yourself. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about silver and also gold. I wanted to talk about money today and using the precious metals to become financially self-reliant. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also, subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Sunday, May 16th, 2021. That's actually not true. For me, it's Friday the 14th, but I'm filming the video two days early. Obviously, it's the weekend, so the market is closed. Silver closed at $27.43, which means it's up about $0.34. Cents. And gold closed at $1,843.90, which means it's up $17.40. The gold to silver ratio, as I'm recording the video, is somewhere in the 1 to 66 to 1 to 67 range. Now, really quick, before I get into today's video topic, I wanted to point something out regarding the gold to silver ratio. I don't know how many of you have been paying attention, but several weeks ago, I remember the gold to silver ratio was about 69. And then a couple weeks later, I realized it was 68 to 69. And then just a week or two ago, it was 67 to 68. And these last couple of days, it's been 66 to 67. So who knows, maybe they're gonna spread back apart again, but these last couple of weeks, it seems as though the gap has been closing in. But today I wanted to talk about financial self-reliance and using the silver and gold to be your own bank. And to be honest with you, I think this is probably hands down my favorite thing about the precious metals. And not even just the precious metals, it goes for the cash as well. Not the cash in the bank, but the cash that is stored with the stack. That's right, you gotta factor in a little bit of currency, a little bit of fiat, some stuff for the short term, if you absolutely need to. And I stacked the little paper currency glorified IOU debt notes alongside my real true honest money. But I would say one of my favorite things about stacking is you can take care of your finances the way that you wanna take care of your finances. It's your money managed your way on your terms without the involvement or the supervision or anything like that regarding the bank, the government, any financial institute, any group of people or any single person sitting there breathing down your neck, looking over your shoulder, always wondering what you're going to do with our money. Because when you're involved with the bank, and I understand, the bank is there for a reason. I consider the bank to be a tool. I use the bank to my advantage. The bank can't stand me, by the way. I benefit far more off of them than they benefit off of me. And by that I mean, I don't even have a savings account. I keep close to nothing in my checking account. I have several credit cards, but I've never once paid a penny in interest. Everything's been paid in full on time before the due date for years and years and years, and pretty much all of them are cashback credit cards. So I get hundreds of dollars a year in cashback from using these credit cards on things that I'm going to buy anyway, which I then take and invest or convert into even more silver and gold. And I intend to keep it that way. But when it comes to stacking the silver and the gold and being your own bank and having your money manage your way on your own terms without their involvement, it's really satisfying. It's really nice. Because if you were to store your money, or should I say your currency, in a bank account, of course it's FDIC insured. I'm not going to sit here and say that keeping your cash in the bank is a dangerous, horrible catastrophe waiting to happen. Of course, it depreciates in value, which 
in my own personal opinion, I consider that to be a dangerous, horrible catastrophe in and of itself, but I'm not going to say that anything insane is going to happen just by leaving it in a checking account or a savings account or whatever the case may be. But if you do leave it in a checking account or a savings account, you have to understand that when you look at it, you can't say, that's mine. You have to say, that's ours. That cash right there, I don't care if it's $5, I don't care if it's a million dollars, it is not yours. It belongs to you and the bank. It's there for you to share. It's there for you to save, to spend, to do whatever you want with, but they're loaning out tons and tons and tons. I believe it's 10 times the amount for every dollar you have in there. They can loan out to other people and it racks up a whole bunch of interest and they become billionaires and trillionaires and your currency just sits there and does nothing but devalue. But I wanted to talk about the silver and the gold and how important it is to rely on yourself. And if it ever gets to the point after several months or years or potentially decades down the road of stacking a little bit of silver, a little bit of gold, and you realize one month you're stretched a little bit too far thin, you're running low, you're having a little bit of a tough time making ends meet this month, guess what you can do if you've been stacking silver and gold for however long you've been stacking silver and gold for? You can go to your safe or wherever you keep the stack and you can get a loan from yourself. Write it down on a piece of paper how much you have to pay yourself back. Figure out how much silver you need to take out to liquidate so you can get the cash to cover whatever it is that you need to take care of. Maybe something caught you off guard. Maybe something unexpected happened. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Things happen. Life happens. Happens to all of us. Figure out how much silver you're taking out and write it down on a piece of paper. Make a contract with yourself if you need to. How much you need to pay yourself back. How many Troy ounces you removed to take care of whatever it is that you need to take care of. And whatever the spot price is later down the road is irrelevant. You don't owe yourself $300 because that's how much silver you need to take out. Let's just say it's right now. The stack price, give or take, is about $30. Maybe a little bit more, but let's just keep it a nice solid number. $30. Maybe you take out 10 troy ounces of silver because you need about 300 bucks. You're not paying yourself back 300 bucks, even if the spot price later down the road is 40 or $50, or if it were to fall down to $20. It does not matter. You do not owe yourself any amount of dollars. You owe yourself 10 troy ounces of silver. And if you want to spice it up, you can even add interest. You took out 10 troy ounces of silver but you're gonna put 11 troy ounces back if that's what you wanna do. Sign a contract with yourself. Put the date on it. Say how much silver you took out, how much silver you owe yourself back and sign it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to go running on over to the bank and getting them involved in the mess unless you want to, but this right here, what I'm presenting is just another option, a way of doing things on your own financial self-reliance and being your own bank. And by the way, it doesn't just have to be about the finances. What's something else that's important? Of course, money is important, but what else is important? Learning, education, I consider that to be important. I like to read, but I figured, hey, you know what? Why go to the library? Why don't I just be my own library? So for the last couple of years, I've been stacking books. Not just silver, I've been stacking books. And I know it's not very impressive, but I'm up to about 45, maybe 50 books. I know... Those are rookie numbers in this racket. But it's a start. But here's the way I see it. That's 45 to 50 books more than the average person has because the average person doesn't read. I don't even know if the average person can read, if I'm going to be honest with you. But guess what? What I just said right there is very similar, virtually identical to what I say about silver all the time. If all you have is five troy ounces of silver, I get comments all the time from people who just got started stacking. They only have a small handful of silver. They don't have all that much. And they're like, oh man, you guys have so much more than me. I always tell people, if you have five ounces of silver, now screw that. If you have one ounce of silver, that's an ounce of silver more than the average person has. So you're already ahead of the game. Might not be very much in the grand scheme of things. It might not be very much at all, but you're already ahead of the game. So good for you right there. Another example, being a little bit more self-reliant, and I know this one's a little bit 
less practical. This might not make sense to a lot of people, but 2020 really opened my eyes when everything came crashing down and, and fitness centers, places you go to get healthy and stay healthy, got shut down. I couldn't go to the gym. So I started deciding for myself, all right, you know what? I'm going to be my own gym. I got some dumbbell handles. I got some weight plates. That's all you really need. You don't need a whole mess of equipment. You don't need a whole treadmill. You don't need all these different machines. Just get some dumbbells and a jump rope and or a bicycle. That's all you need, depending on what your goals are at least. If you're just trying to stay in shape, stay active, you don't need a whole big weight room. It would be nice. I plan on getting to that point one day. But like I said, it's a start to being my own gym. It's a start to being my own library. It's a start to being my own bank. It's a start to inching myself closer and closer and closer to complete and total self-reliance. Now, I don't know if I'll ever get to the point where I'm 100% self-reliant. I don't even know if that's necessarily possible, but I've been saying for several, several, several years, I'm just trying to make my own money, grow my own food, purify my own water, generate my own power, and mind my own business. That's all I'm doing. I'm not bothering anyone. I'm not inconveniencing anybody. I'm not harming anybody. In fact, no one would even know I exist unless they came looking for me on the internet, looking for people's opinions regarding silver and gold, or cash, or libraries, or gyms. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and what are some of your thoughts regarding financial self-reliance? Are you choosing to be your own bank when you need a little bit of money or currency, I guess I should say? Do you give yourself a loan? Maybe if you need to or if you simply want to take out a little bit of silver and say, okay, I just took five troy ounces out. 15 troy ounces out, 23 troy ounces out. I need to replace it. But I'm liquidating at the moment because I'm giving myself a loan. And also, what are your thoughts on adding interest whenever you give yourself a loan when it comes to the precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. A bunch of brand new videos over there. One about ordering silver and gold online. One about teaching your kids about silver and gold. One about the tech stock sell-off we've been seeing. One about recovery stocks, one about the credit card crackdown, and a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs along with a ton of other products t-shirts hoodies even stickers many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations such as the recently released kraken stacking t-shirt hoodie sticker and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver kraken coin which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. 
Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? What are your thoughts on being your own bank? Financial self-reliance. Not involving the bank, the government, any financial entity, any group of people, or any other individual. So they can sit there over your shoulder, always wondering, always monitoring, always keeping track of what you're doing with the currency that you share between you and them. Because like I said, if it's in an account of some sort, it's not yours. It's not theirs either. You share it. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.